all right so after this video um or after this little clipping part then i will share uh, the vision that the lord has given me this morning february the 1st 2022 um he first gave me this scripture uh in this in the spirit which is uh first john chapter 4 verse 14 and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world so now um the holy spirit had prompted me to read first john chapter 4 verse 1 all the way to verse 14 and that's pretty much covers the um the vision that i'm gonna speak before you after this clipping um i'm gonna read it <laughs> before you um and then you can go ahead and you can study it for yourself but um the scriptures the word i am going to proclaim the word of god today again february 1st 2022 with the say of the lord um first john chapter 4 verse 1 all the way to verse 14 and it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets are gone out into the world hereby know ye the spirit of god every spirit that confesseth that christ jesus is come in the flesh is of god and every spirit that confesseth not that christ, that jesus christ is come in the flesh is not of god and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now, already it is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the appropriation of our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man have seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know that we that hereby know we that we dwelleth in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. Amen to the word of God. Verse 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Okay, so you probably will understand the vision once I begin to share it. Um, the word that I proclaimed, which is the scripture, which is Christ Jesus just now. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 through 14. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the video. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you can see me. I have um, I have my blind open on this side. And you, you probably may know when you're in the daytime. <laughs> um, sometimes, depending on where you're sitting in your house, if you're recording, um, it'll um, it won't show you as clear so today is February the 1st 
excuse my hands, they're a little bit dry. I just finished making some biscuits and, uh, you know, washed my hands thoroughly. And I didn't put on any lotion or anything. So they're still a bit dry. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna share what thus saith the Lord. Um, it is a word of encouragement. Um, and hopefully you can understand it, which I want to say you should be able to understand it, but, um, it's a reminder, um, and it is a word of encouragement. So, um, hold on for just a second here. Let me see. I'm trying to see which way I can position myself so that you can, um, can see me. I'm always cold, y'all. Always cold. Um, I'm always cold. And so, okay. So, I will share with you the vision. And then I'm going to share with you the word. So, um, my husband this morning, he was studying Luke. Um, and um, after he did a little bit of studying, we went into prayer. And normally when I go into prayer now, the Lord will um, share with me a vision. And so this morning, I had a vision of, um, well, at first appeared to have been a woman, but then it, it, it came clear. It, when your visions begin to come in, um, they, I don't want to say um, be distorted a little bit, but they come too, like they come together. And so when the vision came together this morning, it was the spirit of the Lord. It was Christ Jesus. And he was sitting on the bank or he was sitting on the seashore, the sands, the sand. So the sand, um, is significant, which is just like salt. We are the salt. We, the body of Christ is the salt of the world. Okay. And so, uh, Christ Jesus was sitting on the, the bank or at the edge of the sand, um, kind of had his, he was gazing out into the sea. He was gazing out into the sea, but he, but he was calm and he was peaceful. Um, he was just looking out into the sea and he kind of, you know how you are sitting and you have, um, one leg up and you kind of have your elbow, your arm just kind of sitting. Um, he had long hair, like really long hair. And he was draped in a white linen. Uh, but he was sitting and he was just gazing out. That's why I said the spirit of Christ Jesus. Because he was gazing out um, out into the, the sea. Um, then my, my vision um, went into the sky. I was able to see the sky, the setting while he was sitting on the, um, in the sand out into the sea. It was very peaceful. But it looked as though... Um, how the like an early early morning how the sky looks early early morning like the sun is about to go up or um evening afternoon as the sun is about to go down so it was kind of like a peaceful the sky looked to be peaceful and the sun actually was kind of in the sky it was looking up on christ jesus like the savior the son uh, god the father was pe at he was peaceful at peace and so I could see the sun in the sky and the sun actually was smiling down at Christ Jesus the sun was shining down at Christ Jesus then I began to see the uh, raging waters the seas began to um, roar they began to rage they began to uh, turn violent they began to just the, the sky, the, the weather, the climate actually began to change in the vision as well. And this is all doing prayer. The climate began to change. It began to get really cold. It began to get dull. Um, the, the sky began to turn gray. Um, and the water began to turn like a dark, dark blue. Like dark, just a dark, raging water. Like, like a dark, raging water. And so the water, the waves began to, they began to, I, I, I'm trying to explain the vision the best way that I can. But um, the spirit of Christ Jesus was still sitting. He did not budge. He was looking out into the seas very calm, very calmly. And the water began to rage. It began to, the waves began to toss back and forth. I could get a visionary of the, the, the 
the surroundings of the world, you know, just the, the surroundings, the the land. I began to see the land um, and how this water, the seas, wanted to overtake the world, wanted to overtake the land. It was just that rageful. I'm talking about like it was coming up and getting ready to just crash down and just flood the whole entire world. I saw a tornado spinning in the sea. I mean, it was just, it was really bad. I could see the winds. It was like an angry, angry sea. And it was just so frustrated because it could not pass the sand. The seas, they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But God the Father, he had proclaimed and declared that he would never destroy this world again by water. And he has sent a symbol, which is the rainbow that is the real meaning of a rainbow the promise of god that he will not destroy us anymore uh by water and so um i then began to see into the sky into the firmament into the into the clouds and into the clouds i saw a throne and i saw a figure a godhead if you will sitting on the throne and he was it was almost like again earth is his footstool so you've got christ jesus sitting at the edge on the sand and you have god the father that's on this throne now i i i can't tell you what god looks like because i didn't see god but a a a, a, a a figurehead my spirit let me know that that was god the father but the, the spirit um, sitting on this throne and um, he had his hands on the the rest of the throne and he was gazing out he was just looking straight forward at the world and I could see fire fire lifting off of his what would be his arms just fire just just blazing off of the but I could see fire just just blazing um, off of this 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 figure on the throne um, the, 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 the face at first appeared to be an eye just one eye and then the eye turned into the earth the, the, the face part turned into the earth and um, the word of the Lord told me that that meant that he is all seeing he's all knowing he knows what's going on in this earth in this world he's he's um omnipresent he's omnipotent okay he's god of everything he sees like i said the first the first image that i saw in the face was just one eye one eye on the face and then th that turned into the earth and so that interpretation I'm mixing interpretation in with the vision so um, God the Father um, told me that this means I the I I am God the Father I am everything I am that I am and I am that I am through your Lord and Savior Christ Jesus okay and so God the Father is sitting on this throne and he's letting us know uh, with the, the vision of the one eye and with it turning into the world, I see and I know everything. I am God the Father. I am in control and I know everything pertaining to this world, this earth. And so that raging, the fire coming off of his body, he's rageful. He, he, God is not pleased with what is going on on earth. And so the seas, they're raging. There's a lot of, um, if you have not seen my last video, I talked about some natural disasters. But um, he's not pleased with what he's seeing in earth. Now, that that particular point, I went into, a vi into another vision of seeing the earth out in outer space. Everything else was black. And I could just see earth. Um, this is not my first time seeing this vision, but I could see earth and it was just spinning Just spinning really really fast and then it slowed It's still spinning on its axis, but it was slowing down and then it starts spinning again really really fast and then it will slow down And God the Father was saying that 
there's seasons and times where he's such he, he's Christ Jesus is married to the backslider okay um, and the, Israel is still God that's still his chosen and he just gets he 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 gets so upset that there are seasons and times where the seasons and the time speeds up. Time speeds up in the spiritual realm. And there's times where it slows down. It's at ease. It's, it's, it's peaceful. Um, but the raging water wanted to overtake the land, wanted to overtake the world. Um, and the spirit of Christ Jesus was sitting on the bank, sitting right on the edge, and he did not budge, he did not move, he was very peaceful, he was very calming, and the Holy Spirit um, let me know that Christ Jesus is the Savior of the world. He is the Savior of the body of Christ. Christ Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, that's how we have him now, because he sits on the right hand of God the Father now. He's gone in heaven. And so what we have is the Holy Spirit. If you are a part of the body of Christ, you hold the Holy Spirit. And so through Christ Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, um, we are the body of Christ. The sand represents the salt of the earth, which is us. So he was sitting on the sand and he's the protector of us. He's the protector. God the Father could have been and destroyed us. The fire uh, coming off of the body of that figure on the throne signifies what will happen the next time. Fire will happen the next time. But the, 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 the repercussions and the actions of his fury and of his, his pain and, and, and of him being upset, it shows in the seas, in the waters. They want to come on to the land. They want to just, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, if you could have seen what the sea, the, the ocean looked like in its fury, it will wipe everything out. But God has promised that he would not do that. And so Christ Jesus sitting there he is our pillar. He is our he is our protector by Christ Jesus through the body of Christ, the remnant that's left. Come on now. That's why things are still at its place. God the Father is so merciful and he's so for, he's so merciful and he's so graceful that he's allowing us the space and the time and the opportunity to repent of our sins. That's what we need to be doing. Repent of repenting of our sins. Because the time is near, repenting of our sins, because the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and so um, the scripture. Let me go to it. It is First John chapter four, verse thirteen. So I am going to go with it, and I hope that you go to it um, and study it. Study, 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 study to show thy stuff approved unto God. A workman needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, amen. Okay, so, uh, uh oh. So, First um, John chapter four verse fourteen. This was the this was the scripture that um, well, I I heard. Um, two things. Christ Jesus is the savior of the body and Christ Jesus is the savior of the world. And so 1 John chapter 4 verse 14 verse 14 says, and I proclaim, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the savior of the world. Okay? So um it like I said it is February the 1st and that's the vision that the Lord uh, God has given me today uh, Christ Jesus is the savior of the world and he he is the interceder he is the bridgeway he is the um, the middleman to God 
understand and so he he told the seas he calmed the seas with him and his disciples so if you could just have seen the way the sea looked the sea has the sea has a spirit the sea has a mind if that makes any sense to you probably does probably doesn't but the sea has a mind the sea has a spirit if you study marine biology or, or know anything about the sea I used I know very little but I used to have a saltwater fish tank and before getting the saltwater fish tank I had to do a little research I talked to a lot of people and they said you have to take really really good care of your saltwater tank in the beginning stages because you want to make sure that everything is properly cycling everything is going right everything in your saltwater tank or in the sea is alive the sand is alive the coral reef is alive the anemones <laughs> everything inside of the sea everything that goes on in that water is alive is alive even if it looks like grass or it looks like a rock it is alive um and so the sea has a mind of its own in its master and its its lord is god the father and it does exactly what he tells it to do um so that's what I wanted to bring and I wanted to encourage you all to keep going um, and to remember this is this is the word that he wants us to know that God through our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus which he sent down Christ Jesus is the Savior of the world we have to go through him and by him to be saved is through Christ Jesus we must repent of our sins the second thing um, God the Father he loves us that's why he sent his son Christ Jesus for us for for us is because he sent his son Christ Jesus to save us and um, he is merciful and he is graceful why is he merciful and he he's grace graceful um, graceful to us he loves us and he is holding back the fire he is holding back he's graceful he's merciful um, and that's just who he is you know that's that's just who God is but he is giving us the reason why he's giving us space and time remember the earth speeds up and it slows down you can see this um, in the time you can see this in the seasons if you're if you're watchful and if you're praying and if you're you're listening to the Holy Spirit when he speaks when you adhere to the things that he shows you in the spiritual realm uh, you will be able to tell the seasons and time uh, that we're in um, and so yes he's a merciful God He's faithful. He's gracious to us. Um, but he's, he's furious. And he, he still loves us. But he's telling us to get ourselves together. Get ourselves right. And um, we, the body of Christ, which, like I said, Jesus, the figure of Jesus was sitting on the sand. Meaning, he is in us. We are the salt of this world we're still here on earth right now which is the sand that the sand on the ground where the salt we are still here um and thankfully we are because if had not it, it had not we be which none of us are righteous only but christ jesus who is sitting on the sand he's the he's in us he's 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 in and throughout us if it had not been this world would be destroyed this world would be destroyed 
and with the fire blazing off of uh, uh, God the Father that is coming it's coming it's coming and so he's giving us time to get it right he's giving us space and time and so he wanted me to share that with you that Christ Jesus he's the only way he is the only way Christ Jesus is the savior of this world and of the body okay so um yeah that was the vision that the Lord God had shared with me today February the 1st 2022 I had to get it out because like I said we were in prayer and I, I normally immediately after such I will jot it down I will write it down but I had to go ahead and record it because I had a lot of um imagery going on in that vision a lot I saw a lot in that vision at a a short time a, sh a short time frame so I said I need to go ahead and get this out verbally um, so that I do not forget because the mind will forget and if, if the Lord has shared something so sacred as his 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 his, his heart these are mysteries that are spoken that his, his his secrets if he shares stuff with us and I don't really want to say secrets but he shares what's on his heart but it is all in here there's no new prophecy. It's in here. I am proclaiming the word of God through what he has shown me. You know, and like I said, it is a word of encouragement. It is a warning. And it's also a reminder. A reminder that Christ Jesus, he's the real reason for everything. And he is the savior of this world. Because had not it been for him... Those rage that rage in seawater. So God has already promised us never to destroy the world again by water. But the fire is coming. So um, I pray that um, the Lord God, through my Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, add a blessing to the reading of the word, his word, which is Christ Jesus. I pray that he bless the words that have been spoken out of my mouth through our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus by the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful um, that he is using me as a vessel of honor. I am a nobody, but he has allowed to speak. I am, a, I am willingly letting the Lord use me and speak through me um, to the body of Christ and to those who are in the number that will be believers. Um, I love you all and I thank the Lord for you and like I say in all of my videos if you have come across this video if you have seen it and you have watched it it was for you so um, share 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 the word with somebody and um, whenever the Lord shows me to come back I will um, if you have not if you follow me um, if you were one of my uh, early followers in the beginning uh, this was my crochet channel I do have a second channel um, and I'll try to I'll try to put that down below in the description box so if you do follow my crochet you can go over there and we can crochet together and talk about crochet things um, but this is now simply love ministry and I come forth and I share with the say of the Lord so um, whenever he instructs me to come back I will so I pray that the Lord um, be a blessing to you um, each and every day um, and I pray that it is according to his will that he give you that alright I'll see you guys next time Lord willing bye bye